Like Magnum P.I. and Miami Vice, movies like James Bond, they all feature exotic cars. Well, on Saturday, cars like these were pitted against each other at Manfield near Palmerston North. It was a special race meeting featuring classic cars of the past 35 years. Organised by the newly formed Classic Mark Register, the meeting was designed to give owners and drivers the chance to really try out their thoroughbreds. They were there in all their mega dollar glory, from the latest Ferraris, Aston Martins and Porsches, to the older Jaguars, the Morgans, Lotus Super 7s and MGs. And you could see their owner's pride with every wipe of the cloth. 120 cars from Auckland to Christchurch entered the 16 races, which included races for English classics, continentals, and even Japanese sports cars. And just to show that the latest Italian good looks don't mean everything, one of the feature races was won by this 1954 Lister Jaguar. The register was started because we became aware that there were a lot of small clubs around New Zealand with a lot of enthusiastic members, but they didn't really have the numbers to run a, a formidable race meeting of this size. The cars that come to mind are Lotuses, the Sunbeams, Ferraris, Porsches. There's a lot of quite expensive and exotic cars. There's a lot that aren't in the super money territory, though, the Lotus Cortinas and cars like that, that all have a famous sporting background, I think you'd say. The feature race of the day was the relay event, with the classic Le Mans start, which always creates that edge-of-the-seat excitement, especially when the Ferraris and the Porsche 930 Turbo are worth more than $100,000 each. A dented panel doesn't come cheap on a Holden. Imagine what it costs for an Aston Martin. The relay race featured 20 teams of three cars each, racing for 30 minutes, one car racing at a time. Some team members had names as familiar as the cars they drove. This is the first time uh, that this uh, sort of event has come to Manfield and it's been extremely well organised. Nothing is running behind time. The, the relay uh, race, which was uh, fraught with all sorts of problems, people having to run across the track as they did in Le Mans and getting going and cars changing, uh, seemed to be miraculously free of any injury and, and full of entertainment. So, yeah, I think the organisers have done a wonderful job. Why do you think a driver with such a thing as a Ferrari, worth possibly $100,000, risks it on a, on a track? Well, it's nice to know what it'll do, isn't it? I mean, it really is nice to know what its heritage is. You can't do it out in the open road. I mean, you have the car just because you love cars and you've got the money to buy them. Here's a perfect opportunity to, to have a burn. And you're not in any journey, would you? I would love to, <laughs> if only. An expensive confrontation between a Ferrari and an AC Cobra replica saw the Cobra team take out the race. And as usual, exotic cars attracted the odd dreamer. Well, this is the Magnum car, the Ferrari 308 Quattro Velva. To replace it on the road today would cost you around about $240,000. Not a bad house for that. Tell you what, it's beautiful. And the only chance I'll ever have of getting one of these is to win one of these, the Golden Kiwi. I tell a lie, actually. I didn't win the Golden Kiwi, but I went out and bought myself a Ferrari today. Isn't it cute? We'll see you tomorrow. Veronica now has the weather. Good night.